am making this video today um, to take you through a diagnostic tool to assess generalized hypermobility throughout your whole holish body. Um, so this tool is called uh, the Baton Score. So basically it assesses range of motion through a variety of different joints. Now we need to consider, um, obviously it's a great diagnostic tool um, or to help us assess the generalized um, hypermobility but there's limitations within it. For example, um, it's not assessing your cervical spine, so your neck, it doesn't look at your shoulders, um, it doesn't look at your ankles or toes. So it's looks for generalized hypermobility, um, but there are a couple of little limita limitations within that. Um, so basically what we look at is could you or could you ever, have you been able to? So we need to remember that within the hypermobile population, um, there's lots of bracing, there's lots of purposefully, um, purposefully <laughs> limiting ranges of movement. So people tend to become guarded and not go towards their end range. So we have that um, reduction in range that can occur over time. So could you or can you or could you ever? Um, so what we look at is a score out of nine. So nine being yes, extremely hypermobile, generalized all over to one or zero being no, there's, there's no hypermobility or it might be localized to, for example, a pinky or um, a hand or something like that, or maybe one side or one arm. Um, so that would be lo localized. This assessment or this um, score helps us assess for generalized hypermobility. So, I'll take you through it, um, just being mindful of standing still, being mindful of pushing towards your end range, only go to where you're comfortable. So first one being um, arm up nice and straight, if you can, popping it like on a table or a desk or something just to keep your wrist nice and straight. And you're gonna get your pinky and pushing it back and looking to see whether it goes to right angled or beyond or, or maybe not quite. Um, if you're meeting that right angle or beyond, uh, that's one point for you. Then we're going to go the other side, so wrist straight, pushing that back. Um, and again, right angle or beyond, if so, yes, that's a point for you. Uh, the next one's going to be floppy wrist. So floppy wrist, um, grabbing your thumb and pushing it back towards your forearm. If it meets like so, that's a point for you. If it doesn't, then that's not a point. So I've scored three so far and then we're going to go back to the other side so on the other arm again pushing for it if you don't quite make it um have you or could you ever be able to do that um so that's four for me then we've got our elbows so um locking one elbow out seeing if it goes beyond the straight and then other side obviously um I actually think one of them does and one of them doesn't for me, but I can't remember which one. Um, and then the next ones are going to be your knees. So bear with me on this one. Pulling pants up. You can see my beautiful legs. Um, side on in like a mirror or getting someone eyeball it. And you're seeing if your legs go beyond straight like mine do. Um, so yeah, looking if you're hyper extending those knees and then we're going to turn around and go other side as well, which I do. <laughs> um, and then last one is seeing if your hands can come flat down onto the floor and you're able to hold it without your heels coming up and with your knees um, locked. So coming down, coming down, coming down. And then coming back up. So seeing, ooh, head spin, being mindful of head spins. <laughs> um, seeing if you could get those hands right down or not. And again, it's could you ever, can you, could you ever. So for me, not quite there, but I used to be able to like last week. <laughs> um, so that's me meeting a Batons of eight-ish, um, eight or nine, depending on what you assess the elbows at. Um, and yes, yeah, so what do those numbers actually mean? So for a child or pre-pubertal um, child, what we look for is a score of six 
or greater. So six, seven, eight, nine sort of thing. Um, with that, yes, there's generalized hypermobility. As we come into our adults, we go for a score of five or greater. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then for adults over 50, we have a score of four or greater. So that there is your um, assessment to, or your score, Baton score, to assess for generalized joint hypermobility. Remember that this is not the only thing that contributes to a diagnosis of hypermobile spectrum disorder or hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. We wanna look at the overall impact of your symptoms um, and then obviously Active Health Clinic, yourself and your other healthcare team will be able to um, best assess that over a period of time. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.